Okay, you guys, this is my next YouTube video. I want to wish everyone a very happy Labor Day weekend 2015. And I want to make a video of some electrical devices you might consider using in your home or your job, whatever it is, or even some diagnostic in your car, okay, or circuitry, stuff like that. These are simple ones. These are not very complicated. Uh, nothing like oscilloscopes. You can go to any uh, large chain store like Home Depot, Lowe's, and pick up one of these. Uh, very inexpensively and they are worth the money. I'm going to run into some features how they work and see what you guys think um, which which ones will work for you better in your situation because all of us are slightly different on what we use our, our testing tools for. Okay I'm a service manager here where I work or super up north from Jersey New York It's what they used to call me Chief Super and some other places. I'm like the head super I give out the assignments, I actually do work, I'm on call, stuff like that. And I have been using uh, these types of equipment for over 20 years. Okay, my old wiggy is not here, but I'll run into that a little bit as we go. Let's go with the least expensive one first. Okay, that would be this little guy right here. Basically has a ground and two primes for the hot and neutral. And you plug it in and it has a bunch of readings on there. Uh, open ground, open neutral open hot, hot ground reverse, hot neutral reverse, and correct on this particular model. Okay, this one also has a model, and the model is made to be plugged in with that button in a GFCI, and it will trip the circuit in the GFCI, testing the circuitry in there, make sure it's working. Okay, so it does work. So you'll see a lot of inspectors walk around with this testing equipment. If it doesn't work, it doesn't trip with this, he's going to say, you got to change that GFCI. It's going to give you so many... So much time to do it. You can buy these and they'll test the outlets and GFCIs. I don't think I remember trying to trip a breaker with this uh, in here. I, I'm pretty sure they'll trip the GFCI, but I'm not so sure if they'll test the breaker. So I guess a test for me to do later on. I usually don't do that. Uh, this way I can find the breaker on that line and how many outlets on that line. So I wonder if that'll work. That should be on right now. Test it with this real quick. Yep, that's hot there. Let's see if we can trip the breaker on here. That's on. And... Nope, it doesn't trip. <laughs> nope, it didn't trip the breaker. Okay, so it will trip, trip the GFCI, but it doesn't look like it tripped the, the breaker where this outlet is connected to. So that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you can see the two yellow lights on there. They lit up telling me that this is actually wired correctly. Okay, I hope that's enough information on this. This is about 10 bucks or so. I mean, we used to get them for like six bucks, five bucks. Um, you do want the one with the breaker to test GFCIs. If you get the other one without the button, it'll tell you if it's wired correctly, but you won't be able to trip it, you won't be able to test it. And that is an important feature testing GFCIs because it should be within six feet of water, uh, certain codes in certain locations. Okay, I don't know what the code is here, but. Uh, Anywhere around the sink, I would like to have GFCI if I could. They usually don't change it if they're grandfathered in, but new construction, definitely, they'll have a GFCI there within, so within a certain distance of water, whether it be a sink or something like that. Okay? The next tester would be this. Uh, this is made by Fluke, and it's not mine. Somebody lent it to me. I borrowed it from him today from the job. He uses this a lot. He really, really likes it. And this is personal preference. The reason why I don't have this because I would not depend my life on it. Um, basically what it does, this current going through here is going to this, even though we're not using it. Put it on. Yeah, there it is. Now we are using it. And the other side. So this is a really nice sensitive one. This is a fluke. Um, name of the company. And it's, it's picking up the hot side, but it's not picking up the neutral side on the wire. So this is nice. Usually if they're that close on most of these, they will pick up on both sides. Because there is a magnetic field there, and that's what this picks up. This picks up the magnetic field generated by the current going through the device. Okay, let me turn that off. They're nice, they're quick, they're fast. Uh, some of these are accurate, or fluke will probably be more accurate than most. Um, so it's a nice tool. Though not my favorite, I don't use it. This would be a large prime, would be a neutral side, and it's not taking a reading, so that's good. You can consider this, this might work for you. You might like this in your house. Uh, that you can use to get these for under 20 bucks. The fluke's gonna be more money, okay? Probably 30, I'm not sure. I don't even use this, it's not my favorite. I use this a lot.
Okay, not necessarily to test GFCIs to see if they'll trip, but more so outlets. Probably ninety percent outlets. I use this to test. We have uh, open ground, open neutral. Somebody reverse the wiring stuff. It'll pretty much tell me right away. Um, and then I'll go to the next outlet in series, see if the broken wire is in there, uh, fix it, put a pigtail, whatever I gotta do. Okay, so these are really, really nice to save a lot of time. The Wiggy, some people will, at first glance will say, that looks like a Wiggy, but this has a, this is a multimeter, has a lot of functions. Most Wiggies usually have two leads and they'll give you AC, DC, continuity, they might beep, and they might even have a digital display. Uh, you'll see a lot of electricians use Wiggies with a digital display so they can see what kind of reading they're getting. Okay, they're usually the easiest for most people to use. They're the simplest to learn, and they can be very accurate if you get a TRMS or True RMS. That's what that says there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says True RMS. You can get True RMS meters for under about sixty bucks. I could have twice saw one for fifty dollars, but you want to get one that has a really good rating. This is BK Position. Got a very good rating for ninety dollars. Uh, probably one of the best ratings for nine dollars I could find. I actually had a really nice Milwaukee for 130, and it kind of walked, so I had to get another one. I do a lot of electrical testing. I'll test my car, my charging system, my battery. Battery actually died last week. I had to buy one. I was able to check the charging system and make sure it was functioning properly. It was kicking out over 13 volts DC. It was actually kicking out over 14 after I put a new ground in there, so that was nice. Uh, you got off. You got AC. DC, ohm, continuity, uh, capacitor, uh, other readings you got here, hertz, and sometimes I have to switch the leads around to get the proper reading, and then you got milli uh, amps and, and stuff readings here, okay, you got a light in case you want to turn it on, you can see what you're reading, a whole button range, and a maximum setting, so it's very, very nice, much more precise because it is true RMS. Most people don't need multi-readers. The Wiggy will be really nice, especially if you can get a digital display on there and see what kind of current you're getting. And if it is true RMS, even better. Okay, so that would be the way to go if you're a homeowner, you want to check, so it will pay for itself and it'll get you out of trouble. I apologize, I'm not breaking down the outlet because I want to do it right. I want to break down line, load, uh, three-way, and how to wire an outlet correctly. So I'm not going to do that today. I just want to introduce these devices Wish you guys a very happy Labor Day weekend and hope you guys pick one. This might not be for most people, but since I do a lot of diagnostic work, this is better for me. Okay, um, I could do the bulk of my diagnostic work with uh, with Wiggy style uh, tester, but um, with this one, I get a more precise reading and I get more features like testing capacitors when I work on HVAC uh, capacitors for the fan and for the compressor. Uh, this actually will tell me the capacitor is bad, so that's nice. You can, some of the capacitor testers not too long ago were 100 bucks, and this is under 100 bucks, and it has that one particular setting on it, so it's really nice. Uh, so it's not a bad, it's one of the highest rate uh, for this kind of money for $90 that you can get. BK position, you guys can look it up. Okay, there are other meters, whether you like the wall, the Milwaukee, whatever it is. I'm not sure if the wall makes meters, but uh, this Klein, um, Fluke, and there's a lot of the companies. Not always necessarily the more expensive one is the better. Look for the ones with the better rating. It uh, has the better features that you need for your particular style job. Whether you work on motors, you need amps, hertz, and stuff like that. Or uh, you work on coils and you have different devices. Uh, stuff like that. But um, I don't do that kind of work. But this is great for me. Highly recommend this. Uh, not my favorite, but people, some people love this. Okay, just because personally not mine doesn't mean anything. You have to decide that for yourself. Okay, these work nice. You can get these for under 20 bucks. The flute's probably going to cost more. Okay. Uh, usually on the 10 bucks. I usually get these for like 6 bucks. And True IMS, uh, over $60. This is the better one. It has more features than what I need, so it cost me $9. I had to have those features, which I had on the Milwaukee toy walk. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope there's sufficient information. Again, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. And later on, we will start breaking down outlets and switches and plumbing and stuff like that on this channel. So it's going to be a lot of great information. I'll see you guys later. Bye.